Hi, I'm Rich from Trapping ATV. This is my 2014 Scanic. You've uh, watched the video on how I put the, the uh, ski widener kit on it. And that. Now I think what I need to do is change the uh, springs that are inside the pogos. I'm told this makes a big difference. I ordered these online from, I don't know, I think the company's called Revel, Revel, something like that. And uh, that goes in here. I don't know what's in there right now. I mean, they're, they're factory, obviously. I don't know what kind of condition they're in or anything else. I've never done this, not, a, not for a second. So uh, this is gonna be a good test of how difficult it is. <laughs> I think first thing we gotta do is peel a bunch of plastic off. So let's get to that. So it looks like to get at the pogo, I need to remove a couple of screws here. They are, I don't know, they're Torx. <laughs> we'll call it Torx and say that's close enough. They have clips on the inside, so they come off pretty good. I should actually set this up with a, a screw gun, shouldn't I? Got to clean the bark out of some of these. <laughs> They're on the leading edge. You can tell my impatience went out. I'll be more careful putting them back in. What good is it having all these tools if you can't use them, right? That one's got some bark in her. I think technically that would be enough, but I'm going to pull these others. It'll make it easier for, for uh, videotaping. All right, here's where the pogo exists. Now it looks to me I think I'm going to take some weight off the front end, just so there's nothing pushing up here. We'll do that. Okay, there's not much there. Looks like I have to hold on to this quarter inch here. Loosen that off. And then probably these to take my spring out. Whoa, -ho! there we go. Looks like we have a retainer here of some sort. We'll figure out how to get that out of there. We'll drop in a new spring. Ah, oh, that was easy. <laughs> there we go. You can see that the, uh, they're about the same length, but that the Revel is much more robust. And it looks like the coils are tighter on it as well. So no big deal. I'm gonna 
This is, I see has some grease on it, so I'm gonna take and put some more grease on it. Get a little bit of grease on her. Back in there. <laughs> Easiest ever, man. Easiest ever. We'll do a little reverse here. I think I'll uh, clean my hands before we continue. I think I'll put some of my heavy duty uh, grip ass skinning gloves on. Just because I don't like getting grease all over me. Too many years of doing that. All right. Looks like she all just seals right back together here. Okay, and I never lifted out the uh, the tie rod end or anything else. I'll give that a wipe. Takes a little bit of pressure. Much though, nothing, nothing scary about doing this job anyway. I'm guessing how much I tighten this has to do with loading the spring. I looked at the other side and it shows um, a few rows of threads is what it shows. So I'm going to tighten this up a bit. No, nope, she bottoms right up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's do the other side and then put it all back together. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't lose a screw, and I did. So, I just hand tightening these rather than using the impact on them and stripping something out. But I managed to lose one of these screws. I'll have set it somewhere to keep it safe. <laughs> also, if now let's give it a test run and I will uh, have it out uh, on the trap line here in the next day. And uh, then I'll finish up this review and, and let you know what I think. Really, really, really simple though. Uh, Easy to do, they're not expensive, they're like, I think 105 bucks a spring or something like that, so. Anyway, stay tuned.